So we've got our Express server up and running, and we're going to move on to the client. We want to build out our login page. So for the time being, until we're able to make requests to authenticate our users with the login page, we're just going to let Next handle all of the requests made in our app. So to do this, we'll bring in the get request handler from app and assign it to this handle variable. So app.getRequestHandler. And with Express, we'll create our first route. This will be the catch-all route, where we'll take our server, and we're, we'll first say server.get. So get is our route method. This means that when we have a request from the client, a get request from the client, that's made to the route that we specify, and we specify it in this first parameter here, we'll decide how that request is handled. So, for example, for any get request made to the user's route, we can specify in this callback where we have the request and response, the request made to our server, as well as the response that we can send back to the client. We can specify exactly what we want to do. In this case, however, we just want to provide the default behavior of the next server, which is for any get request to any route, we're going to handle it with the get request handler. So we'll use this glob pattern here for our route. So for any get request made in our app to the server, in our handler function, we're just going to return handle and then pass through the request and response made so that next can take care of it. So if we save this and we look at our terminal, we see that our server is not recompiled. So with the Webpack setup for Next, the Webpack configuration it has watches the files within the project, and then the server will recompile if any changes are detected. However, with, with our dev script, we're just executing node server.js, this node command doesn't watch the server file. We're going to need to bring in a special package which will watch this file and when there are any changes it's going to restart our server. So we'll end our script and we'll install the dev dependency. We can install dev dependencies with this save dev flag or the capital D shortcut nodemon. And once that's installed we just need to modify our dev script where instead of executing node server.js, it'll just be nodemon server.js. So now, when we start up our dev script, if we make any changes to our server file, we'll see that our server is recompiled. <laughs>